Welcome to my channel! Today I'm going to show you my 10 favorite Linux software. What I always install on my computers. Number 10. Uh, number 10 for me must be Firefox. Firefox is uh, the best web browser out there now. Uh, we have of course uh, Google Chrome which I won't use. Uh, I won't install it on my personal computers just because yeah you guys have probably seen all these uh, freaking videos where they uh, take over your mic and everything that you say and I won't I won't have that on my computer so Firefox I just uh, my plugging my website here as well uh, but yeah uh, Firefox my number 10 number 9 is of course uh, GIMP I have this on my um, laptop just to make sure that uh, I can do some small changes to to everything that is uh, that is uh, thumbnail basis or anything like that. It's uh, basically almost as good as Photoshop. I'm not a hardcore uh, photo editor or image editor, so I, I just do basic thumbnails, do some banners and stuff like that. So yeah, my number nine, GIMP. Number eight, people won't believe me, but Thunar is a great, great file manager. Why? It comes with the distro and it's just okay. Uh, why not? Why not use Thunar? Um, I know that people who use Vim uh, file manager and, uh, and more like a console based, I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. But for now, I found out that Thunar is my favorite, uh, and it comes with um, with the distro I use, and I have always come back to Thunar for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, Thunar is my number eight. Number seven. Number seven is easy. You always need it, and if it's not installed, you will install it. It's VLC. V uh, VLC is a media. Uh, player it plays everything everything you can throw at it it plays so yeah that's why I always use if I don't have it installed from before if the distro don't provide uh, provide me with it I will install it so easy is that yeah so my number eight no number seven is VLC number six number six is very easy uh, because I have um after I started YouTube I have always been uh, kind of confused of which ki uh, what kind of uh, um, movie maker I will I will use and I'm as basic as it comes I'm like iMovie was uh, what I use way 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 before so yeah this is my uh, uh, this is uh, Kidian Kidan Live I don't know how you pronounce it with a K it's uh, something that is uh, I I guess is provided with the uh, with the um, uh, uh, KDE desktop. Uh, I just installed this. It didn't come with my distro. So yeah, this is probably my uh, uh, my favorite uh, movie maker. Uh, yeah, what I have found. If someone has uh, any other uh, movie makers I can use, bring it on. But uh, till now, this is the best I have tried. Yeah, so this is my number six. Number. Five number five, and uh, this is my number five. Um, this is FileZilla, and I use it to um, uh, not only upload files to my to my web server, but I also use it to maintain files on my servers, uh, my um, uh, file servers. Uh, of course, use SMB or SIF or uh, uh, network storage. But if I need to do it remote from um, I don't know from a work or from a coffee shop. I basically use FileZilla if I need any files from home uh, from a home server uh, So yeah, I like uh, FileZilla and it's very easy to use and um, I have never have had any problems with FileZilla. So that's why I use it. Yeah, so this is my number five Number four and I know Luke Smith and uh, everybody lovers or who loves uh, Luke Smith going to hate me now because I use an HTML editor and uh, I'm not a good one I'm not 
I'm not uh, the best one, so I need help. So what I use is basically uh, Bluefish. Bluefish is for me very great if you want or if you want to start with uh, HTML. I always install it on my uh, my computers or laptop because it's easy, and I use FileZilla to to to. Um, to, um, to upload my files. This is basically, I know there is some kind of FTP plugin for, for uh, Bluefish, but I'm used to FileZilla, that's why I use FileZilla for, for uploading my files. But yeah, this is basically just where I code, where I, or where I code. Uh, it's just basic uh, basic uh, HTML and, it's, and it works and it's great for me because I see colors, I know where, I'm at, where I am and I can preview it very easy, so yeah. That's why uh, Bluefish is my number four. Okay, again, I'm s I'm that casual. My number three is actually Thunderbird. Thunderbird is an email client. I can connect the multiple email clients to it. Very easy. It's easy to set up. It's easy everything. Um, I can also connect it to my calendar um, and my contacts list uh, that I uh, self-host on my server here at home. So yeah, it's everything I need to 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 send and uh, receive emails. Um, yeah, it's not much to talk about Thunderbird. Everybody knows what it is, but people forget about it and don't install it and use Evolution for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe this is bloat. I don't know, but I love it. Uh, I can of course start using Mutt or anything like that, which is simplistic and and uh, and minimalistic. But I like to have options to to just press a button to reply uh, reply all or um, easy to uh, to uh, attach attachments uh, or, or uh, yeah so yeah I like uh, I like everything with uh, with uh, Thunderbird so this is my number three number two my number two is HexChat yes I'm also that casual that I use HexChat. Hexchat comes with most of the um, uh, distros that I've used. If not, I install it right away. Uh, here I uh, go into the server Freino uh, Freenode and connect to my uh, my favorite uh, uh, chat rooms. Um, my favorite now is uh, DistroTube. He's a great YouTuber and uh, I love everything he makes. He's uh, He says what is on his mind. So And the community is awesome. So here uh, where I talk to everybody, um, what the um, what the what the latest videos are, and we discuss everything with him. And also, if you have Linux questions, or Arch, or i3, or anything like that, uh, people here are very helpful. So um, you can probably use this. Arch Linux uh, is a good uh, uh, channel to join, and uh, I also have some Plex and Open uh, Media Vault. Um, uh, channels as well just to yeah I, I use it basically as um, something to kill time but also to um, to have support if I have any problems I start with Google and or DuckDuckGo and if uh, DuckDuckGo can't help me I go into um, to my uh, to my channels and basically just uh, ask the questions and people will try to help me if they can so yeah my number two is HexChat so the one you've all been waiting for, number one, it's Joplin. Joplin is a note-taking app what, uh, which you can install on almost every uh, operating system or device that you use. Um, uh, Joplin uh, does talk to servers, file servers like uh, Google Drive or if you have any um, Dropbox or any of those most common ones you can use those or if you are like me you use Nextcloud you can sync it with your Nextcloud server. So um, what I use is basically for documentation of my work uh, of my home uh, home servers or my to-do lists or anything I can make it here. Uh, this is uh, basically the um, uh, the uh, welcome notebook where everything of how you can script things to look nice like this or you can 
if you want to make colors i don't know if you can make colors but yeah you can you can you can paste in pictures and stuff like that so it's pretty cool um the thing is that i also use this for um if i install a um for instance, if I have a server which has a, a desktop environment, I always install this and just document what I do. Uh, and it's quick, it's very fast to sync up. Um, yeah, and it's just a very great tool. And uh, there, it's a, a community-based, I think, uh, software. So you can uh, get it on GitHub, I think. Yeah, I think I installed it on GitHub. So yeah, my number one is uh, Joplin. So yeah, um, thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, hopefully you uh, you would uh, like my assessments of my software. You probably think that I'm too casual and I have all the bloat software in the world. Um, maybe. If you have any recommendations, just tell me and I will of course try them out if they, are, if they interest me. Um, but they have to be better than what I have now. Uh, if they don't, I don't care. So yeah, uh, yeah. Just uh, catch me on the next one, or what? What else can? What do YouTubers say? Uh, yeah, just uh, subscribe if you want to. Oh, that was cringe. Yeah, just uh, subscribe if you want to. If not, I don't care.